Welcome to episode 7 of Singing Basics with Box Guru. I am Pratibha Sarathi and today we are going to talk about a very important topic called singing posture. Usually when we think about singing, we always think it is an activity only for the voice, right? But actually singing is an activity for the entire body. So every part of our body actually has a role to play in the way we sound ultimately. Okay, so today I am going to talk a little more about this topic and I am going to give you some simple do's and don'ts about singing posture and you will be surprised to know that just by making some small fixes in your posture, the way you sing will drastically change. The sound of your voice, the power in your voice, the impact of your singing can really, really change. So let's dig deeper into the subject and understand the concept of singing posture. The first and most important aspect of singing posture is your back. Now some forms of music require us to sit on the floor and sing. Some forms you have to stand and sing. Sometimes you have to sit on a chair. Whatever it may be, ultimately our back should be upright. It should be straight. Because the first step of singing is the breathing, right? The inhaling of air. So if our back is not straight, then we will not have a smooth airflow. And if we don't have a smooth airflow, then it's going to affect every single aspect of our singing. Our voice will get affected, our stability will get affected, our modulations will get affected, notes will go out of pitch, everything will happen. Okay, so breathing ultimately controls each and every aspect of your singing. And to ensure this, you have to make sure that your back is always upright. The second aspect is the head. The head again plays a very important role because it is very close to the vocal cords. I always tell my students that when you are in the learning stages of music, make sure that your head does not move. No matter whether you are singing a high note or a low note. Okay, whether you are singing Sa ni da pa or Sa re ga ma pa. The head should be in the same straight position. Now let me clarify one more thing. Usually when I sing songs and when I put out videos on this channel, you will find that my head is happily moving, my body is also moving a little and you know I am kind of getting into the emotion of the song. So some of you have actually asked me this question saying that you keep telling us not to move our head. So why are you moving your head? Okay, so let me clarify this today because it's very important and a very good question. Now first of all you have to remember whenever you see any of these professional artists doing these kind of movements, we are not moving to hit a particular note. Okay, now if I am singing the upper sa, I am not going to go like this or when I sing the lower sa, I am not going to go like this. Okay, so the movements are not to do with the notes. The notes you should be able to sing without any movement. Okay, any exercise, any song, you should be able to hit all the notes with a straight head. Only if you are able to do that, then it is okay to start exploring certain movements just to express the emotions. So the movement is for the emotions, it is not for reaching the notes. Then coming to the hands, you know the hands are a very very important tool and a very useful tool to help us in singing. You would have seen singers doing all kinds of movements while singing, right? Why do they do that? Because singing is a very abstract process. Now in any other musical instrument, we can see the instrument. So we know exactly what we are doing. But with singing, the instrument is inside the body. So we can only imagine what is going on there, right? And our hands actually help us create those visuals. You will see some people moving the hands with the notes. Sometimes if there is a modulation, we do a certain movement. So basically that makes us feel more in sync with what is going on inside. So this is something you can definitely explore. It really helps in visualizing music better and also in expressing yourself to the audience. Okay, But again, we should explore this only much later in our journey. So the first five or six years, don't get into these hand movements. Okay, Keep your hands very relaxed on your lap, play talam on one side and focus entirely on your singing, your breathing, your technique and so on. And once you reach an advanced stage, you will yourself know that you are ready to explore this. Hope you enjoyed this video and will practice all these tips when you are singing. One thing I have noticed is that posture is not something that gets corrected overnight, right? Even though I share all these tips with my students, ultimately when they start singing, the old habits keep coming back, okay? And they don't realize it. So it's very important for you to have a good teacher guiding you 
and correcting you every time you make a mistake in posture. So if you want to get the right kind of guidance and start your musical journey with us, please join Vox Guru's voice culture course. We have a beautiful six month program which contains so many different exercises and techniques that can really transform your singing voice and posture is one of the most important aspects of each and every exercise that we teach. So by the end of this experience, you will see that many of your wrong habits have got corrected permanently. And after that, it becomes a much more easy and smooth journey for you. So to join us, please drop us a WhatsApp message. I have shared the link in the description. We also have a Carnatic course if your interest lies in Carnatic music. So please drop us a message and we'll understand your interest and suggest what is the right program for you to join. And don't forget to download the Vox Guru app where you can find plenty of courses in Carnatic music, voice culture, ear training, Hindustani classical and a lot more. And these are self-learning courses that you can just start and pursue it at your own flexible pace and time. So uh, it's as simple as a click of a button. So go get the app right away and uh, I'll also be waiting to hear from you on WhatsApp. Let's get started with a musical journey together.